Okay, today we are going to be repairing a leak that we have in our hot water heater cold water supply line uh, shutoff valve. Uh, we, uh, in preparation for this task, we have uh, hit the breaker, turned off the power going to the hot water heater. We've shut off the cold water supply line to the house. And and we've turned on all our faucets so that we can get the water out of the lines. And we're going to clean this up a little bit because we get um, calcium deposits and such that seem to clog it up. So you have to, you've got your handle right here that's got to come off, and you also have a packing nut that has to come off. All right, that packing nut. Uh, it's probably on there really tight. It's going to be hard. It's going to take several shots of uh, WD-40 lubricant to get it off. So once you get it cleaned up a little bit, you just let stuff off. Then we're going to spray it. Let that soak in for a while. Cut. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this handle off with a flat tip screwdriver and pull off this uh, the screw that's holding it in there. Okay, once you get the little screw out of the handle, then you just pull the handle right off. And actually, this handle was corroded on there pretty tight. It wasn't as easy, but we tapped on it a few times and it came off. Okay. Uh, now, what we want to do is take a three quarters inch wrench, and that's what size this packing nut is right here. And we want to loosen it. Wow, easy. Thought it would be a lot harder to loosen than that. Alright, now once you get this off. Sometimes there will be a little washer under here that's all corroded. This particular one, I think that's as far as it goes. Okay, so you get it off the threads, and then we're gonna clean the threads off a little bit, turn them off, and cut. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this self forming packing rope. And we're going to wrap it around. Around the threads where it's leaking. Right where you want. And as far forward as you can get. Okay, about two times. So you get the rope in there, then you tighten it down. You're not supposed to tighten it all the way tight. You're supposed to get it fairly snug. What you want to do is put this on first. You snug it all the way down.
Okay, once you get it tightened down, then we're going to have to turn on the water pressure and give it a try and see what it does. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn back the water supply back on, see what happens, if anything. Okay, we've got water coming out of our faucet. Okay, so we let the water run a while. We're going to shut the water off here. And then we're going to go back over here. And we're going to turn this up just a little bit and see if it still drips. It looks pretty good. If it still drips, like it's dripping a little bit, we can tighten that packing nut a little bit more. We got hot water in the tank. We didn't drain it. It's looking pretty good. So there you have it. Uh, all we did was replace the, put the little rope there behind the packing nut, and now uh, our leak is gone. So if you need to fix a leaking shutoff valve, that's basically all there is to it. Once you get the thing off, it's easy.